So now we're going to go on and give this lens in a format that an injection molded plastics manufacturer could work with. It's been designed in Optic Studio using the CPC object and a standard lens object and what we call the overlapping objects rule which means that when two objects occupy the same, same space uh, the second object overrules the first. That's great for doing the design work, uh, but when we want to give this to a manufacturer, we want to give them a single file so they know exactly what it is that they are, they're doing. And we do that with the Boolean object in Optic Studio. So if I just press insert uh, to get a null object, and then I highlight that text and I type Boolean, I get a Boolean object coming up. And what the Boolean object lets me do is uh, perform Boolean ob operations directly on ZMAX native objects. Now in order to do this I'll just scroll along here and you'll see that you can take up to eight different objects. We're only going to use two. They're going to be object number one which I'm going to call object A and object uh, number two which I'm going to call object B and then here in the Z, the Y position, I'm going to enter a Y position for it of something like 40, just so that it doesn't overlap the, the two native objects yet. And then in the comment column, I'm going to say, do the Boolean operation A minus B. So subtract B from A, and there you can see the object that we've created. And if we just take a cross section through it, you'll see that this is a single object that has had the standard lens component subtracted from the uh, uh, compound parabolic uh, concentrator object. And I can, I can now simply export this as a step file, I just SAT or even STL, uh, and give this to an injection molder to, to make.